We've been experiencing a rare heat wave in the Pacific Northwest. It is 106 degrees outside, and yet in the tiny house, it's a comfortable 68. So today, we're gonna to talk about the heating and cooling system in this tiny house. Here in the tiny house, we have a 9,000 BTU mini split from Pioneer. I bought this unit back in 2017 for around $700, but if I look on Amazon today, they're listed at $818. We mounted the unit up high on the wall so that the cool air would sink down and cool down the main area of the house during a hot days like this. This unit is rated for a far larger area than the 180 square feet of our tiny house. However, with the extreme heat we get sometimes at our homestead property, I didn't want to take any chances with making sure it would be comfortable. Because of the placement of my heat pump in this tiny house, it can get a little toasty sometimes up in the lofts during the summer. I installed little fans like this though, and that helps circulate the air and pretty much fix the problem. The condensation gets routed to the outside of the tiny house where it can drip down. Eventually, we'll probably put in a longer pipe and we'll put a plant down underneath here to catch this. One of the major issues with living in a tiny house is moisture control. And now while our HVAC unit can help with reducing some of the moisture in here, we've still had to get a dehumidifier to pick up the slack. This alone is not gonna cut it. This is the dehumidifier that we use. Most mini split units like this come with a remote control. This is super handy because I can change the temperature setting in here from pretty much anywhere in the tiny house. I like this feature a lot, especially in the middle of the night when I'm up in the loft and I wanna change the temperature but don't wanna get out of bed. One of the plus sides of this unit is that it's pretty quiet. It's actually been running in the background the entire time in the house right now. Now that being said, it does get kind of noisy on whatever wall the heat pump itself is mounted on. So I used to actually sleep with my head at this side of the loft and it just was waking me up in the middle of the night. So by switching the bed and, and having my head at the other side, now I don't have any problems. The lofts stay nice and toasty during the winter. However, downstairs can get a little on the chilly side. So we have one of these space heaters right here and we just turn this on during the winter on the lower story and that helps us stay a little more comfortable in the mornings. I know shopping for appliances can get a little overwhelming, so any of the appliances that I reference in this video, I'll link to in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button for more videos about the tiny house homestead and some of our Tinker projects.